Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Grand dostan kariban shirikan rifikan Hi, my name is Miriam and welcome friends, family to Afghan Cooks a trials and errors cooking show Today, I'm gonna make one of my favorite cold weather dishes a very popular Afghan noodle soup called Ash What you're gonna need is some sort of oil, tomatoes. I have one can of tomatoes chopped up here, some yogurt, some ground meat. This is impossible burger this time. So this is a vegetarian recipe. Lemon juice, onion, dill, mint, garlic and salt and this is going to go with this some ginger garlic paste jalapeno if you like it hot tomato paste salt and pepper of course and the tried and true afghan quartet paprika coriander cumin and turmeric i have here some bucatini because i bought a case of it you can use any pasta that you like there's also pasta that is specifically made for Osh that you can buy in any Middle Eastern stores, but you don't have to do that. And my secret ingredient to everything I make, MSG. Parsley and kidney beans and chickpeas. I have two pots here. They are both cast iron enamel. One is made by a fancy French company called La Crusette, I think. And this one is made by Lodge. The difference between the two of these is this one costs about $400. And if you want something similar in the Lodge, it'll probably cost you about a hundred bucks. If you're interested in purchasing something that is cast iron enamel, maybe something that matches your kitchen decor, you can look at the link down below. We have an Amazon affiliate link. So that means that if you buy something from our link, you support this channel. So we're gonna start by adding two to three tablespoons of oil to the pan, then one large onion chopped up. Stir that around for a couple of minutes. When these start to get translucent, you wanna add your ginger garlic paste. And unfortunately, I didn't get that on camera but let that brown for about 45 seconds too. Then you're gonna add your spices. Here I have two teaspoons of coriander powder, cumin, and paprika, and then one teaspoon of turmeric. That's two tablespoons of tomato paste. And you wanna stir that and cook it up, okay? You can see the tomato paste and the spices Stick to the bottom of the pan, that's okay. There's a lot of yummy goodness in there, just scrape it up. You wanna cook that tomato paste and the spices. And then I add my one pound of, this is impossible meat, but at this point you would also add whatever other ground meat you want. And let that brown. At this point, my kid came downstairs and said, what's for lunch? It smells so good. So this will be popular. Now you can see at the bottom, there's still some brown bits. We're gonna get to those after we add our tomatoes. It's winter time, so we don't have really good fresh tomatoes. Maybe in the summer, I'll show you how to make an Afghan tomato sauce from whole tomatoes that are fresh. And here you add one and a half cups of water keep scraping the bottom of that pan. You really do wanna get all of that stuff that's on the bottom up. I promise you it will not taste burned. And that's what you end up with. At this point, if you're using tofu or the frozen mixed veg, you add it here and stir it around. Cover it, let it simmer. Now we're gonna make our noodles. Remember to add a lot of salt to your pasta water. I broke the pasta here because 
that's a thing that we do for making osh. You can use any kind of pasta you want. There's also a very specific kind of uh, osh noodle that you can buy in a Middle Eastern market or on my Amazon affiliate link in the link below. Now you wanna make sure that while this is boiling, you're getting ready to make your yogurt sauce. Okay, and the yogurt sauce is one cup of yogurt and one cup of sour cream mixed together. We have another uh, specific kind of yogurt thing called kashk. Wow, that's really loud. Um, <laughs> but you can buy it in, again, a Middle Eastern market. I've also posted a link down below on where you can buy it. And you add two teaspoons of dried dill, two teaspoons of mint, maybe three if you like it. And here I have, I think, four smallish cloves of crushed garlic. That is about a third of a cup of lemon juice. You can use fresh. I used bottled. Stir all of that together. Oh, you also gotta add salt, okay? I add the rest of the lemon juice. As you're stirring it, check the thickness of the yogurt. I add about two tablespoons of water to thin this out. I cannot underestimate how important it is to check your salt, which is a thing I do here off camera. MSG. It's vegan and it makes everything delicious. I don't think this is authentic to Afghan cuisine, but I'm gonna start doing it. I use it in almost everything, I will not lie. Now, when you check your noodles, you want to pull them off of the heat or turn the heat down to low when they're super al dente. Then add one can of garbanzo beans and one can of kidney beans. Stir it all around. We use the pasta water as our broth in this soup. Add about half of your yogurt mixture to the pasta water, your beans, and your pasta. And stir that up that's gonna help flavor your broth. Now, I used one and a half packages of pasta here because we have five people, four men in this house. You can feel free to just use one and still follow the rest of the instructions. Then add about half of your meat sauce. And stir that up. And there you have it. There is your Afghan noodle soup. We just like to make it look pretty. We add the second half of the yogurt here, spread it all around. And once again, at this point, people come downstairs and say, when is it ready? When is it ready? It's ready, folks. Just let me get this for the camera. Add the meat sauce to the top. We always leave a little reserve of yogurt sauce and meat sauce so people can add more to their individual bowls as they like. We've got the cilantro and the jalapenos as garnish. Look at how pretty that looks. I'm so proud of myself. And then you serve it up. Some people like more broth, you give them more. Some people like less. And enjoy this delicious Afghan noodle soup. Yay! I hope you enjoyed this inaugural episode of Afghan Cooks. Please subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when we make delicious food Afghans who are cooking.